For Hurricane Hugo and Hurricane Andrew had major impacts on the future of roof construction right here in Florida. In tonight's ongoing series of what we've learned from Hurricane Ian, Local 10 Hurricane Specialist and Storm Surge expert Michael Lowry shows us how various roof types held up in the storm. It was Hugo in 1989 and Andrew in 1992 that changed the way the public and government regarded the risk for hurricane damage to homes and roofs became a major focal point. When it comes to windblown damage, the roof of a home can be a major point of entry. The updated Florida Building Code was designed to reduce the risk of roof intrusion. We've spent a lot of time with the revised building codes trying to figure out how to keep the roof structure on the building. So we do tie downs, we have a, a tie beam that kind of connects everything together. So the idea is to try to make sure the roof doesn't come off. Dr. Fred Bletcher with Florida Atlantic University says that roofing material is also a factor. Both residential and commercial structures with asphalt, shingle, or clay tile roofs that were more than 10 years old fared the worst. The shingles have this, this tendency just to rip. Once you get one, they all start going. While flat and barrel tile roofs are attractive and popular, Dr. Bletcher says they are also susceptible to breakage. So you have flying objects. Coconuts are probably the most famous, but it could be almost anything that will go ahead and it'll, it will break uh, the tiles and then it accelerates damage there. And what about the impact of solar panels? Almost all of the new solar panel stock showed remarkable success, unless they were impacted by an object, like a downed tree. The solar panels themselves uh, were designed to sit on roofs in Florida. So they're designed to go deal with exactly the situation that, uh, that we would be confronted with in a hurricane. The decisions you make now for your roof could make a big difference in the amount of damage you get during a hurricane. Michael Lari, Local 10 News.